Thank you, Father. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 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 Let's just Good begin morning. to bless the name of the Lord. Let's just begin to lift up the name of our God this morning. We thank the Lord for what he has done for us. We're in the month of December and the Lord has been faithful. Father Lord, we thank you. We give you praise this morning, oh God. We say that God like unto you, mighty God. We come into your presence at the end of the Almighty God. We are fearful and praise him. Always doing wonders. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Thank you, God. 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 Thank Thank you we are afraid amen and amen i'm just going to hand over to auntie julie auntie julie do you just want to yes, praise the lord for us thank amen. you amen. you can you can mute us when you want to thank you so okay. much Lord. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, sisters and brethren. We, uh, we're grateful. We are grateful. Recently in church, uh, we went through a, a season of reminding us to give thanks. And the conclusion was that what opens the gates of his heart, the hearts of the Lord, is thanksgiving. Psalm 100, verses 4 to 5, we're told to enter his gates with thanksgiving in our hearts. Thanksgiving is so precious. We have a habit of complaining. And one of the things that the Lord has dropped in my spirit since that teaching is that if we could develop a habit of thanksgiving as a substitute for a habit of complaining, a lot of things would change not only in our lives, 
but in the lives of those with whom we interact, with whom we, we, we like, relate, and also around us in our environment, even in our country, the habit of thanksgiving as a substitute for the habit of complaining. You know, in Numbers 11, 6, the Jews were complaining about manna. Imagine the miracle of manna falling from heaven. They didn't have to reap before, they didn't have to sow before they could reap. They didn't have to plow. This is food that was falling directly from the Lord's table to sustain them for 40 years in the wilderness. And yet they complained. And I think there are things in our lives as well that we take for granted. The miracle of waking up every morning, the miracle of belonging to a band of people who pray every Monday, and it's been going for at least two and a half years now. Pray every morning, every Monday morning for the well-being of our children, because we are parents and we know that we've been given the gift of children. But sometimes we take even that for granted. And there's that little song that says, count your blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Imagine sometimes we walk into our homes and we're so, you know, we're, it's, it's so mundane. We're so used to our homes. Everything is furniture. It's there and it's been there. And we are dissatisfied. And sometimes there's a, there's a lack of contentment. But imagine if your home and all the assets of your home were listed one by one. Definitely you would remember to count your blessings because they have been listed and you've named them one by one. In Psalm 107, we are told, it's verse 1, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. You know, in Psalm 23, we're reminded that goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. All the days of our lives. How often do we remember to thank God for that? And so here we are in Psalm 107, verse 1. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. There's the goodness and for his mercy endureth forever. And then if you go down in the same Psalm to verse six, he tells people, the people to, 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 to cry out because he, he has delivered them and he has delivered them out of everything and he has saved them. And the same thing applies to, the, to us. If you read verses 13, 19, 28, it, it is true that every day the gift of deliverance is ours. And we tend to take it for granted because we are used to being blessed. We are used to being children of grace. Oh, that men would give thanks, it says in 107.15, to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And then in 107.22, let us give the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. 107.43, whosoever is wise will observe these things and they will understand the loving kindness of the Lord. There is no one and nothing as kind as our God. We, he is worthy to be praised, to be worshipped, to be adored all the days of our lives. So we remember the prayer from our days in, you know, regular church, even as churchgoers. Now thank we all our God, that hymn, with hearts and hands and voices, who wondrous things hath done, in whom his world rejoices. We are his world. We are the ones who are called, who are chosen. We are the ones who have been anointed to understand, to have the wisdom to praise him and to give him thanks in all things. Who from our mother's arms hath us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. You know, when the Bible says, in all things give you thanks and praise, sometimes it's very difficult. It's very difficult because we are overwhelmed by the circumstances of the moment. And human beings that we are, we forget all the things, all the wonders, all the goodness and all the mercy that have gone before the day of that particular circumstance. But when we calm down and we begin to dwell on the goodness of the Lord and his mercies that endureth forever, then the grace to give thanks returns to us. And with hearts filled with the wonders of God, anointed with a sense of awe, we begin to give thanks. We begin to praise. We begin to worship. The way into his heart, the way to enter the gates of his heart is with thanksgiving. Never, never, never should we say, 
nothing but Nana, nothing but this old car, nothing but girl children, or nothing but boy children, or nothing but this job and no promotion, or nothing but these clothes. I can't afford to wear the things that everybody else is wearing. But how about, thank you, Father, that you woke me up this morning. Thank you, Father, for my health and well-being. Thank you, Father, even for that spouse, even for those children who give us heartache. Imagine if we were lonely and had nothing and no one at all. And so the habit of thanksgiving, O oh Lord, give unto us so that it will replace the habit, the habit, the unconscious habit that we all have of complaining, of fault finding, of discontent, of unhappiness. Our Lord and our God, fill our hearts with praise, fill our hearts with thanksgiving, that it might be well with us in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, our God, we thank you that there are infinite number of things to thank you for. It is impossible for us to list all your goodness and all your mercies and all the examples of your loving kindness in our lives and in the lives of our relatives, in the lives of our friends, even in the lives of people that we don't particularly like, who are unlovable, who don't particularly like us. If we reflect for even a moment, oh Lord our God, we would be overwhelmed with a spirit of thanksgiving. Now help us to take that time and to give you thanks, genuine thanks, heartfelt thanks for your many gifts, the gifts that we take for granted. Here we are again at the end of 2022. In my own case, at the end of 2020, I was fighting for my life, fighting COVID in hospital in the ICU. And I learned, I learned to look back during that crisis and to say, Father, you've been faithful. Father, you've been faithful. And it was the remembrance of the faithfulness of the Lord that gave me the unction to function even in the ICU as a child of thanksgiving, as a child of God. I was overwhelmed by the many, many, many things. Not that many that I could even remember. Imagine if I started from the day of my conception, if I had that, that, that remembrance, that I was not aborted, that I was born hale and hearty, with no congenital defect whatsoever. Our Lord and our God, we've gathered here together today, O oh Lord, to give you thanks from the bottom of our hearts, yes, to remember things that you have done, and Father, to begin to pour into our futures the remembrance of the things that you have done to bless yeah. us. Yeah. Our Father and our King, you praise remember you. this that we take for granted, Father, we ask for forgiveness. And we ask in substitution, O oh Lord, a spirit of thankfulness. Let that thankfulness begin to transform, to transform all our attitudes towards you, towards ourselves. Yes, towards ourselves. Give us the grace to learn to love ourselves because you love us, O oh Lord. And above all, oh Lord, give us the grace for that spirit of thanksgiving, the wisdom, because it is wisdom, it is wise to give thanks in all things. Father, give us the grace to change our attitudes towards others, towards life in general, with a spirit of thanksgiving. Our Lord and our God, let thanksgiving be the lens through which we see life, through which we see all dimensions and all aspects of life. Recently, a friend of mine had to bury her younger sister, a dear, dear, dear friend. And she was in the depths of despair. And then she looked up and saw her brother in tears. And she said to herself, thank God my brother is beside me. Thank God I have a brother. And then she looked around the room and she saw her husband in tears. And she said, thank God I have a spouse who can grieve with me who can share this burden with me and with whom I will heal. I know that there will be healing for this family. And she began to give thanks, to give thanks, not because her sister was gone, but because she had people still around her to rejoice with her in the life of that sister who was such a wonderful woman. We have all encountered loss of one kind or of another with loss of material things, loss of dear ones, a loss of loved ones, loss of friends, a loss of relatives, oh Lord. But Father, through it all, 
through it all, you are faithful. You are faithful to give us the grace, not to say nothing but manna, nothing but loss, not to take anything for granted, but you pour into us that grace, that grace, that peace, that balm of Gilead that gives us, that gives us the means, the unction to function as children who trust you, who look back and therefore have the, 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 the strength, the strength, the fortitude to look forward. And even where we stand, to look at the things of the present and to say, in all things, Lord, I give you thanks and I praise your holy name for you are faithful. Brethren, let us give thanks. Let us give thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we just thank you. Father, we give you praise. We thank you, God, for every Monday of this year, oh God. Lord Jehovah, for life. Thank you, Lord, for good health and a sound mind, oh God. Father, thank you for life, oh God. Thank you for life. Thank you for life for me and my household. Thank you, Lord, for this group. Thank you. It is not by power nor by might. It is you that showed me. Thank you, Lord. 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 as our hearts begin to worship, you are with us. You are with us. And you send us by the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of prayer, the power of faith, the power of thanksgiving, the power of joy, the power of joy, to loving, to loving you and confidently, absolute trust, my God, in trust, to genuinely give you thanks, if you thanks in all situations, with us exception, in all situations, Jesus mighty name amen auntie thank you very much yeah auntie has said a lot so I'll just take us to Psalm 9 let's go to Psalm 9 today we're thanking the Lord for the many testimonies that we've received on this platform for the many children that the Lord has touched the families that the Lord has granted um, their request and all that. Psalm 9, I'm going to read 1 to 2. It says, I will praise you, Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. I'm sure we know that a lot of people started 22, and some of them are no more. Some have lost their children, but the Lord has kept us. And um, even the things that seem um, insurmountable that we still have, we know, we know because we know that there's no God from God, there's no word from God that lacks fulfillment. We know that God has spoken and those things will be moved. They have been moved already. We're actually just waiting for the manifestation. So I just want us to thank him. As we're thanking the Lord, I want us to look at verse nine of the same Psalm nine. It says, the Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in the times of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. I want us to unmute this morning. And just thank the Lord because we know without any shadow of doubt that the Lord has not forsaken us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. And we want to thank him for this year, 2022, that the Lord has kept us in our households. The Lord has kept us and our children. Please just unmute and let's him together. Father, we just bless you. Father, 
Jesus name we are praised. Please come with me. Amen. Please come with me to Deuteronomy 28. And we're going to declare all this over the lives of our children. I'm going to read from verse one. It says, if you will listen diligently to the voice of the Lord your God, being watchful to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, the Lord your God will set you on high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you heed the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground and the fruit of your of, of your beast and the increase of your cattle and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your needing and your needing trough. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord shall cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon you in your storehouse and in all that you undertake. And it will bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you. The Lord will establish you as a people holy to himself, as you are sown to you. If you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. And all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name and in the presence of the Lord. And they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord shall make you have a surplus of prosperity through the fruit of your body and of your livestock and of your ground in the land which the Lord sought to your fathers to give you. The Lord shall open to you his good treasury 
the heavens to give the rain of your land in this season and to bless all the work of your hands. I shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail. And you shall be above only, and you shall not be beneath. If you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day, and I watch you to do them. And you shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. I want you to open your Bible and begin to declare it over your children, that, the, that your children will listen diligently to the voice of the Lord. As the year is coming to a close, we are saying the Lord will renew their, their strength in him. The Lord will open up their ears, their eyes. They will see wondrous things in the law of the Lord. They will hear mighty things from the Lord and they will follow the Lord closely and all these blessings will run after them and overtake them in Jesus' name. Let us unmute and declare these scriptures over our children. Father Lord, I want to thank you because our children will listen diligently to the voice mighty name we have prayed i want us to pray into the verse that says the lord himself will make our children the head and not the tail i want us to cry out and say lord god almighty this is your word this is your promise and the Bible says that no word from God lacks the power of fulfillment. So I want us to cry out and I want you to pray for your own children and say, they shall be the head and not the tail. And as we are praying into that, I want us to look at Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 30 verse 19 says, then out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of those who make merry. I will multiply them. They shall not diminish 
I will also glorify them and they shall not be small. We're declaring this morning that our children will not be small. They will not be small spiritually in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will not be small physically and socially. They will not be small intellectually. They will not be small financially in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will take the higher ground morally in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I just want us to cry this morning and say, Lord, make our children the head and not the tail as you have spoken. Let them not be small in the mighty name of Jesus. Please let's unmute and let's pray together. Jesus Christ, we have prayed. So as the year is coming to an end, we have decided and we have declared that no evil is allowed to come near us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says you will decide and declare a thing and it will be established for you. So today we are declaring the word of the Lord over our children that as for this ones, no evil is allowed to come near them. They're going to end this year in praise and they're going to break into the new year <clears throat> with new strength in Jesus name. So I want us to take what is written in Psalm 17 verse 8 and declare it boldly and ask the Lord to do it. It says, keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. I want you to declare that the Lord will keep your children as the apple of his eye and he will hide them under the shadow of his wings and allowed to go wrong with them in Jesus name. No death, no destruction, no disease, no, no, no sickness, no disease, no defeat, no failure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No confusion, no mental illness, no depression in the lives of our children. I want us to begin to declare that Lord God Almighty, keep and guide them Oh God, as the apple of your eye, oh God, hide them in the shadow of your wings in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, this is your word, oh God, and we know that this word cannot return you void. So, Lord, this is Lord, our children are hidden under your wings, oh God. They're hidden under your protection, oh God. Our children are hidden, oh God, in you. This will come to the end of the year, oh God. No harm shall come of his black children, oh God. Sickness will not be in their name, oh God. Thank 
in jesus mighty name we have prayed please let's quickly go to psalm 23 we're going to declare the whole of this psalm over the lives of our children and I'm going to be using the Amplified Classic Edition. So it starts by saying, the Lord is my shepherd to feed, guide, and shield me. I shall not lack. Please bring out your own Bible and let's begin to declare it, that the Lord is our children's shepherd. The Lord will feed them, guide, and guide them, and shield them. They shall not lack. Let's unmute and begin to declare it together. Father Lord, this is your word, O God. Father Lord, I declare the word I pray for the Lord. 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 I Thank you, God Almighty, because Lord God Almighty, you are the shepherd of our children to feed, to guide, and to show them. They will not lack anything good. Our children will not lack wisdom. They will not lack, in, lack insight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will not lack strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Lord and my God, they will not lack sound health in the name of Jesus Christ. Their soundness of the soundness of their mind will not be tampered with by the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, your word says that you make them lie down in fresh, tender, green pastures, and you lead them beside still and restful waters. As the year is coming to an end, O oh God Almighty, give our children rest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, not to rest away from you, but rest in your presence, my Father. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that you refresh and restore their lives, O oh God. Father, lead them in the path of righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, even though they walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Let them fear no evil, for you are with them, O oh God. Your rod to protect them and your staff to guide them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, whether the enemies are there or not, prepare a table before our children, O oh God, even in the presence of their enemies. Anoint their heads with oil and cause their cups to run over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, ensure, O oh God, only goodness and mercy and unfailing love shall follow all our children all the days of their lives and through the length of their days, O God, the house of the Lord and your presence, my God, shall be their dwelling place in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, because this is your word and it cannot return to you void. It cannot fall to the ground. We thank you. We worship you this morning. Thank you, God Almighty, because nothing Nothing can snatch our children out of your hands, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, because one more time, 
we declare that you are their shepherd, oh God, to feed them, to guide them, and to show them in all circumstances, oh God. We'll bless you. We thank you, God, because our children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of our children. And that's why we're so confident, oh God Almighty, that you will lead them, my Father, beside restful waters in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to unmute and say, Lord God Almighty, as this year is coming to a close, oh God, our children will draw closer to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This, as the year is coming to a close, our children are drawing closer to the Lord in the mighty Jesus mighty name we have prayed thank you so much for praying i want us to go to matthew chapter 6 matthew chapter 6 and I'm going to read from 9, but from, from 9b, it says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. I want us to personalize this prayer as now for our children to say, Lord, hallowed be your name in the lives of our children. The Lord's name will be glorified in the lives of our children. The Lord's name will be honored in and through the lives of our children. His kingdom will be made manifest in and through the lives of our children. His will will be done in the lives of our children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will give our children daily the bread of wisdom, the bread of strength, the bread of progress, the bread of promotion, the bread of favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the bread of sound health and sound mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to begin to declare it that his name will be honored in the lives of your own children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, we bring your word to you, God. Father, I 
in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen we want to see the kingdom of god in the lives of our children and you know we want them to become witnesses they will become the 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 the, the displays of God of God's power. People will look at them and say, surely God is here. And so what are the things we're going to command this morning? Please come with me to Matthew 11. Matthew 11, verse five. So when John sent people to Jesus to say, are you the one or should we wait for another one? As the kingdom come or not? Jesus says in verse four, the Bible says in verse 4, Jesus answered and said to them, go and tell John the things which you hear and see. The blind see and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. I want us to pray that the evidence of the kingdom in the lives of our children will mean that the blind will see. Whether physically blind or spiritually blind, they will see in Jesus' name. Every lameness will be taken away. Emotional paralysis, mental paralysis, educational paralysis, whatever. We're saying the lame has to work. And you know, the children who have become sexually leprous, we're saying, Lord, cleanse them, oh God. The ones that have become spiritually deaf, we're saying, Lord, open their ears, oh God. The ones that are dead spiritually or the enemy is trying to kill them with one physical disease or the other, we're saying, Lord, raise them up. And the ones that have become poor, do you understand? They have become morally poor. They, are, they, they don't even know what is right from what is wrong. We're saying, Lord God Almighty, let them hear the gospel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to declare that the evidence of the kingdom is that our children will see light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will walk in this light. They will manifest this light. They will proclaim this light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, God, for our children. Because, thank Lord, we are Lord, 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 that you come in the Thank you. 
the voice of eyes of God, God in Jesus' name. The ritual, the Father, let there be an awakening of God and a rising of your mighty name of the kingdom of their destiny that Amen. Please come quickly to Psalm 91. And I want to read the International Children's Bible version of Psalm 91. And I'm going to declare it over our children. It says, those who go to God most high for safety will be protected by God all powerful. Father, because we have come to you for safety for our children, oh God, we declare, oh God almighty, that these children are protected by you, our God, the all powerful God. We're here to say this morning, oh God, that you are their place of safety and protection. You are their God and we trust in you, oh God. Father, Lord, you will save our children from hidden traps and from deadly diseases in Jesus' name. You will protect our children like a bird spreading its wing over its young. Your truth will be like their armor and their shield in Jesus' name. They will not fear any danger by night or an arrow during the day. They will not be afraid of diseases that come in the dark or sickness that strikes at noon. At your side, one, at their side, 1,000 people may die or even 10,000 right beside them. But Lord God Almighty, our children will not be hurt in Jesus' name. They will only watch and see what happens. They will see when the wicked are punished. Father, Lord, we declare this morning that you are their protection. And God Almighty, we have declared and we have made you their protection. We have declared that you are their God and that you are the most high God, their place of safety. 
Nothing bad will happen to our children. No disaster will come near our homes in Jesus' name. God Almighty, as you have said, will declare this morning that you will put your angels in charge of us. They will watch over us everywhere we go. They will watch over our children. They will stand wing to wing, surrounding them everywhere they go. And that's how they will surround our homes in Jesus' name. They will catch us with their hands and will not hit our foot on a rock. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, even if our children walk on lions and cobras, they will step on strong lions and snakes, snakes and no evil near them. Father, thank you, God, because we have decided to love you and because we love you and we know that you protect those who know you. We will call upon you and Lord, you will answer us, oh God. Our children will call upon you and you will answer them. You will be with them in trouble. You will rescue them and honor them. You will give them a long, full life and they will see how you alone can save. I want us to declare that from a place of thanksgiving, that this is the word of the Lord and it cannot fall to the ground. With long life, will, our, will the Lord satisfy our children and continue to show them his salvation. Let us unmute and declare that together, that this is our portion. Not Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now we're going to end this year the way we want to start next year. And the way we want to start next year, I want to start next year with Thanksgiving. So I want us to end this year with Thanksgiving. I want you to just begin to thank the Lord. Tell all that is within you to bless his name this morning. That's the same way we're going to start the new year in Jesus' name. When we come back next year, nothing would have gone wrong with anyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I just want us to end this meeting with Thanksgiving. Let's just unmute and begin to thank him. Let all that is within you. Lord, 
because we know in jesus mighty name we have prayed heavenly father we just want to thank you for this year oh god thank you oh god almighty for the strength you gave us to wake up every monday to lift up your name concerning the children that you have kept in our care oh god Father, Lord God Almighty, we know who you are and we know that, Lord, your plans towards us are plans of good and not of evil. And so we are confident that these children will fulfill their destinies, oh God. Lord, as we bring this meeting to a close this year, we thank you. We worship you, oh God. And Lord, thank you, oh God, for the 9th of January when we reconvene, oh God, and we come back with you. Lord, <clears throat> I cover every household that is represented here in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We agree one more time that nothing is allowed to go wrong with any household in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, because we will look into our tent and nothing will be wrong in Jesus' name. We'll look into our homes and we'll see that you have kept us, oh God. We give you praise. We worship you, God Almighty. We trust you, God, that you will keep each and every one of us in the crucible of your power. We worship you. Lord, for the rest of the days of this year, oh God, we still wait on you for the miracles, oh God, that you have planned for this year. And we agree that the blessings of 2022 will not have to wait on the 2023 before they manifest. So I decree healing where we need healing progress where we need progress for this year, restoration where we need it, oh God, recovery, oh God, in everything, oh God. And Lord, we agree, oh God, that you, our God, you will increase our greatness and you will bless us on every side. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much for praying. Amen. We'll see you here. Have a wonderful